Buckle up, everyone, because we are diving deep into the world of AI today, and more specifically, NVIDIA's groundbreaking new Blackwell chips. Yeah, this is huge. This isn't just some minor upgrade. This is seismic shift in AI capability. For sure. And what's incredible is that these chips are already in the hands of major players like OpenAI and Microsoft. Everyone's yeah. talking about it. So what makes these Blackwell chips so special? Well, imagine a chip, purpose-built, tailor-made, for the incredibly demanding tasks AI throws at it, you know, like training these massive AI models with billions and billions of parameters. We're talking GPT-4 and way beyond. That's what Blackwell's all about. But hold on, it's not just about brute force. It's also about incredible efficiency. More power, less energy use, which is a win-win for everyone. Yeah, efficiency is key these days. Gotta love that. Now, you mentioned OpenAI, the brilliant minds behind ChatGPT, and they've been pretty open about their goal of achieving AGI, artificial general intelligence, essentially teaching machines to think like humans. Could these Blackwell chips be their golden ticket? It's definitely a huge leap in the right direction. One of the biggest roadblocks for AI advancement has always been, well, computational power. It's like, imagine trying to solve this incredibly complex puzzle, but you can only work on a tiny handful of pieces at a time. What Blackwell does is it gives OpenAI a way bigger puzzle board, potentially unlocking some of those groundbreaking AGI breakthroughs we've all been waiting for. Okay, so we're talking faster processing, more powerful models, potentially leading to AI that's almost, well, maybe even too smart. I don't know. That might be my inner sci-fi nerd coming out. But seriously, what kind of real-world advancements could we see from OpenAI thanks to these new chips? Well, think about language models so advanced and so sophisticated that they can not only understand you perfectly, but respond to you with this incredible nuance, like almost unnervingly human-like. Imagine AI assistants that don't just follow your commands blindly, but actually understand the context and learn from every single interaction, maybe even anticipate your needs before you even have them. And it goes way beyond language. Blackwell could completely revolutionize OpenAI's work in problem solving and reasoning, pushing us closer and closer to that almost mythical AGI. Okay, now that is exciting. A world where AI isn't just a tool, it's more like a genuine partner. But let's switch gears for a moment and talk about Microsoft and their cloud platform, Azure. How does this all play into their strategy? Microsoft is all about making AI accessible to everyone, not just tech giants, but businesses and developers of all sizes. And how do they do that? Azure. And Blackwell is a game changer. Think about it. A small startup with a brilliant revolutionary AI idea but they just don't have the resources to build their own massive data centers. But with Azure, now supercharged by Blackwell, they have that top-tier computing power right at their fingertips. It's incredible. It has the potential to foster innovation across every sector. It's like leveling the playing field for anyone with a great AI idea. That's a game changer, for sure. Absolutely. This kind of access was unheard of before. But with this kind of power at your fingertips, the possibilities really are limitless. This is all so incredibly powerful, but we have to talk about the elephant in the room, right? Energy consumption. I mean, training these massive AI models takes a crazy amount of power. How do we balance that with, you know, with the global push for sustainability? It's a critical question. And believe me, it's on everyone's mind from NVIDIA to OpenAI to Microsoft, everybody. But that's what's so remarkable about Blackwell. They've really prioritized energy efficiency in the architecture itself. So more power doesn't have to equal more energy used. How'd they manage that? It's like, well, imagine designing a car that can go twice as fast. Yeah. Right? But it sips fuel like a tiny little scooter. That's kind of what they've done. Blackwell has all these architectural improvements that let it do way more calculations per watt of energy. So it's this huge leap in processing power but with a smaller energy footprint overall. Okay, so it's not just raw power, we're talking smarter power. Now, this focus on sustainability is definitely one way NVIDIA is setting itself apart, but they're not the only ones in the game, right? We've got AMD, Intel, are they just like watching from the sidelines as NVIDIA dominates the AI chip world? Oh, not at all. The competition is fierce, believe me. AMD and Intel are both making some serious moves in the AI space, but NVIDIA, well, they've been very strategic about this. Strategic how? They've been building these really strong, really deep partnerships with companies like OpenAI and Microsoft for years. That kind of early collaboration gives them a massive advantage. They're not just building chips, they're building a whole ecosystem. Like they say, it's all about who you know, or in NVIDIA's case, who you know and what you know, because their tech is clearly top of the line. Exactly. And you can't forget about innovation. NVIDIA is constantly pushing the boundaries 
of what's possible with AI hardware. I mean, Blackwell is a perfect example of that. It really does feel like we're at a turning point in AI, a real turning point. Right. We've talked about the potential benefits, things like insanely advanced language models, maybe even breakthroughs in AGI. But what about the big picture? If we zoom way out, how could this, how could Blackwell powered AI like reshape the world as we know it? Well, that's where things get really, really interesting. We've barely scratched the surface of what AI can do. Imagine using AI to create personalized medical treatments tailored to each individual patient, or revolutionizing education by adapting to every student's unique learning style, or even finally solving our, you know, our energy crisis with truly sustainable solutions. Yeah, those are some of the like the biggest challenges facing humanity. It's almost hard to even imagine what that world would look like. It is, and that's the promise of Blackwell, right? It gives us the raw computational power to tackle those seemingly impossible challenges. It's not about making things a little bit faster, a little bit more efficient. It's about opening doors we never even thought were possible. It's incredibly exciting, but at the same time, I have to ask, as AI gets more powerful, how do we make sure it's used responsibly? You know, I can't help but think of all those sci-fi movies where AI turns against us. It's the million dollar question, right? And it's not just about preventing some Hollywood AI takeover. It's about making sure that AI is developed ethically, responsibly, and in a way that benefits all of humanity. And those conversations, well, they need to be happening now, right alongside all these amazing technological advancements. I agree. Those are some really complex questions, but so important to be thinking about. It's encouraging to hear that these ethical considerations are being taken seriously. They really are. Yeah. And it's not just happening behind closed doors. You know, it's not just ethicists or policymakers. It's the people who are actually building this technology. So the AI community itself is stepping up and taking responsibility. Exactly. There's a real sense of responsibility, a real desire to get this right. We're seeing more research on AI safety, more open discussions about ethical guidelines, and companies like OpenAI and Microsoft are being more transparent about their development processes. That's good to hear. It sounds like the arrival of Blackwell, while a huge technological advancement, is also forcing a much-needed conversation about the future of AI and how we move forward responsibly. Without a doubt, it's a defining moment. And I think that awareness, that commitment to responsible development is what gives me hope for the future. Well said. As we wrap up our deep dive into Blackwell and this exciting and sometimes maybe even a little daunting future it represents, <sighs> what's the one big takeaway you hope our listeners are left with today? You know, for me, it comes down to this. Yeah. We're on the edge of a true AI revolution, one that has the potential to reshape our world in ways we can barely even begin to imagine. And Blackwell, these chips are at the very heart of it, providing the power to unlock solutions to problems we once thought were impossible. But even as we consider all the amazing possibilities, it's crucial to remember that the future of AI isn't predetermined. It's up to all of us to shape it through careful consideration, responsible development, and a commitment to using this technology for the benefit of all humankind. Those are some powerful words to end on. So as you continue to explore the world of AI, here's something to think about. What seemingly impossible problem could these incredibly powerful chips help us solve? Until next time, keep asking the big questions and happy diving.